I am ranked number one. One! That means I'm the best. So, last year we saw Anthony Ogogo, an Olympian, lose for the first time as a professional to Craig Cunningham. And he suffered an injury in the bout that left him technically blind. I just heard Dwyer talking about it. He's 28 years of age. He was retired by his corner after suffering blurred vision during the eighth round stoppage loss. And Tess later revealed the severity of the problem. A go go was forced to undergo two operations on his left eye, but the Olympic bronze medalist still wants to fight again. He was signed to Golden Boy. He fought on Eddie Hearn cards, so I assume there was some affiliation where Eddie handled his business in the UK and Golden Boy handled his business in America. I was told that by having my eye operated on that I could make it even worse, a go go told the East Anglian Daily Times. I went to go see 10 different eye experts to get to the bottom of the problem. It was such a bad eye injury. I was actually technically blind. I wasn't allowed to drive. They took my license away. A go-go has never been tempted by an alternative career, despite enduring a number of fitness setbacks since turning professional and wants to avenge the end of his unbeaten record against Craig Cunningham. I know that I could have a happy life outside of boxing, doing some television presenting or some punditry, he said. That's not the life I want, though. I want that hard living. I want to go back to Cunningham's backyard and bash him up in front of his own fans, the same ones that were booing me and calling me names. Whether you like me or loathe me, you've got to respect me and what I've been through. I know I can get to the top. Truth is, he's been plagued with injuries since the amateurs, so... If his young body is going through so much trauma and now he's got this eye injury, you know, like he was technically blind. I don't know if he still is, but he's had the operations, but he's definitely vulnerable. Fractured eye socket. This is a big worry for when Kelbrook goes in the ring with Errol Spence. That fractured eye socket could be a big deciding factor. What I'm trying to get here is there's one picture with his eye swollen up and it's his left eye that's swollen and in another picture when he looks to be in a hospital bed it's his right eye so that's a bit confusing that's a bit confusing he's still intent on a ring return he'll probably have to seek a license out of the British license the British Boxing Board of Control license if he's going to do so which will limit him to what cards he'll be able to fight on in America and in the UK, he'll still be able to get the Craig Cunningham rematch because Cunningham doesn't care. I'll fight him. <laughs> you know I mean? If the money's good enough, he'll fight him. But Eddie and Oscar, you know, they've got their reputations to think about. Like, if this guy goes blind in the ring, they don't want their name attached to that. That happened on their dime. No way. And the British Boxing Board of Control are telling us why he may never fight again. They would not grant Anthony a go go a license to box in the UK if he is registered blind. He's hoping that his vision will improve. Robert Smith says he hasn't heard or seen no proof that he is legally blind. It's just hearsay, according to him. He added that although a go go's injury is severe, he has previously successfully completed all boxing board medicals. A lot of obstacles, you know. David Hay managed to achieve a lot of goals compared to. Most fighters who turned professional. He was the unified cruiserweight champion and held a portion of the WBA championship. He's 36. That's eight years older than Agogo. And David Hay faces a lengthy rehabilitation and he says he wants to return to the ring. This guy here, he hasn't even got out of first gear. Cunningham was styling on him in there. To be honest with you, he got hit way too much. He has to overcome big odds that his vision will return to normal. That alone weighs heavily against him. Then he's got to keep himself in supreme physical condition. And he's 28 now. He's 28. By the time he fights, how old is he going to be? He's not even at southern area level. He is not even at 10 round level yet. 
And some will be saying, well, you're lucky you have a lot of other options. He's done Subway sandwich adverts. He's been on Strictly Come Dancing. He's done punditry work. He's done other bits of television. So his CV is tight on that. He can have a good life like he said it himself outside of boxing. But that's not enough for him. He's a fighter. He wants to fight. So he's going to have to do what he has to do and get it out of his system or gracefully bow out. We'll see what decision he makes comment section let me know what do you think he should do should he get out or should he pursue his dream